Hey guys, what's going on? The Riaya here with a quick little video. The people over at CPUID have just released a uh, interesting piece of software. It's called uh, PowerMax, and it's made specifically to stress test your CPU and your GPU. Now, when you first load up this uh, program, you're going to be getting a, a little disclaimer here. It states, PowerMax stresses your PC in such a way that it may reveal the weaknesses of some of the components and cause non-reversible damage to mainboard VRMs, video card VRM, PSU, or other components. For that reason, PowerMax has to be used at the entire responsibility, and CPU ID shall not be liable for any damage which may arise as a result of use of PowerMax. Then it asks if you wish to continue. Do you wish to continue? And it's you can uncheck the disclaimer so you don't see it every single time and just click yes. Now, when you load this up, it's actually very simplistic. It's no, like, big graphics on it or anything else on there. There's just, uh, the options for changing CPU, GPU, and the timeout for how long you want the test to run. Other than that, you can check mark full screen for it or not. That's used for the GPU. Under CPU, you get to choose between AVX and SSC. The GPU is just the resolution. As I already stated, the timeout is how long you wish it to run between 1 minute, 5, 10, 30, or no time limit at all. And then you just click start on either of them to get this going. Now, it doesn't allow you to just do GPU and CPU simultaneously, you gotta click them both, so suggestion would be click the CPU, then the GPU immediately after. Just start loading it up. Seems to be very simplistic, easy to work with. Now, I did a one minute burn in test to see how it went, and well, my system goes fine. I mean, I've done full renders for eight plus hours at a time using my Blender software for both GPU and CPU, so I know my system is fully stable. But uh, if you don't have anything else and you need something simple to do a test, this might be it for you. I mean, to check your temperatures when you're overclocking your CPU to make sure your cooling is adequate enough or see how hard you hit that GPU and uh, make sure everything's running smoothly and temperatures there as well. There's nothing much else to be stated about this program other than just a couple of side note things that might be nice to see them implement in the future. Like, when you click, if you're doing both CPU and GPU, seeing the CPU usage monitoring and such, and the graphics that's running in the background or of the GPU, along with the uh, temperatures. Seeing the temperatures with the CPU and GPU while that GPU test is running would be really, really nice instead of having to either rely on something third party to tell you that what it's running at, like uh, Reva Tuner with Afterburner and such, or uh, any other thing like on a secondary monitor to see what's really going on. But this is a great start. I really like it, and uh, I'm looking forward to see how they improve this in the future. So there's nothing really else to say. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Leave a comment below if you have anything to say. And if you do here, hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw here. And all those that are returning, thank you for supporting my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.